Hello, so I'm back again showing you some more stitches that you can do with the Krynik threads. I have right here a bunch of different examples of French knots that I've worked in all different threads. So some of these are kind of the more rounded cord threads, and then here's a nice flat thread, a really thin thread, and this one's kind of a crazy woven plastic feeling thread. But you can do French knots in any of them. And from left to right, I have slightly smaller knots and then um, getting larger and larger as we go along. And so technically a French knot is with only one wrap, but if you want to, you can make them bigger by doing more wraps at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that. And you wanna make sure, as always, that you have um, a size needle that's appropriate for your thread. So right now, I'm using a chenille needle, which has a much larger eye, which is gonna make it really easy to thread this really big thread here. Okay, so now to do a French knot, you want to hold the thread in your left hand and the needle in your right, and this is if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, you'll do the opposite. And it's very simple. You just wanna wrap your thread around the needle, place your needle in the fabric, and the key is you wanna be close to where you came up, but not in the same hole. Then I'm gonna pull this thread tight, pull this thread tight around the needle. And here you can see that's forming the knot on the surface. And then you wanna slowly pull your thread through. And sometimes you have to give it a good tug like I just did, and that's because these threads are so thick. And then pull and there's your knot. So I'll do that again so you can see. Wrap around the needle, place the needle in the fabric, pull the tension on the needle, and then pull through. So now I'll make another one, but this time I'm gonna give it a few extra wraps to make it extra large. So wrap, 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 wrap. And you don't wanna to do too many wraps, it gets a little bit crazy. Down here, I'm gonna show you a bullion knot and that is a much longer knot, so you can include more wraps there. See, easy. So I'll show you with one of the flat threads as well, just so you get the same idea. So I've got this flat thread here. And it's the same idea. Wrap around the needle, place the needle in the fabric, pull through, you've got your knot. Wrap around the needle, needle in the fabric, pull through. And there we go. Okay, so now jumping down to the bullion knot samples, which I have down here, I've done this in a few different types of threads as well. This one's a flat thread, a cord, and a slightly thinner thread. We'll start with this flat one here. Okay, so to do a bullion knot, you're going to come up on one side, down on the other, and I recommend not making this distance too big when you're first teaching yourself a bullion knot. If it's too big, it's going to be much harder to do. So about that size is good. I'm gonna leave this loop on the top and come back to the first side where I started. So that's really important. You wanna come up here, and then go down and then come up again on the first side. If you come up and then down and then go up on the same side over here, you're gonna have problems. So remember to make a circle underneath the fabric. Then I'm gonna take this thread here, I'm going to wrap it around my needle, and then occasionally I'm gonna tip my needle to the side and check the distance between here and there. So you wanna have enough wraps to fill that shape that distance there. And because this is a flat thread, I might do a few extra because it's gonna squish down on itself. So one more. Next, I'm gonna place my fingers right here where the knots are. And then I'm gonna bring my other hand to the top to grab the needle. And then you just wanna slowly kind of wiggle, wiggle with your fingers and pull the thread through very gently and slowly. And then you wanna keep pulling until you can't pull anymore. Take your hand off and you'll see here we've got wraps on one side and a little bit of extra thread here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lean my knot over to the side and I'm going to push with my needle and kind of straighten out these knots that I've got. 
or wraps rather. And then when I like the way it looks, I'm gonna bring my needle down on the original on this side here, okay? So here I've done a really long one and I'll show you that as well. So if you come up and you go down and then up again on the first side, and this time I'm gonna do extra wraps. So that's gonna make my, um, my knot extra long. So if I lean this to the side, you can see I have more wraps than I need to fill that space. And then I'm going to do the same thing, gently, gently pulling until I get my thread to come through. And then once I can't pull any more, take my hand away, have a look here, try to straighten out my wraps and then bring the needle down off to the side. And you'll see this bullion knot has a little bit of a bump to it. So you can either leave it sticking up like that, or if you want to, like I've done over here in these samples, I can take a stitch over the top and kind of give it a little bit of a shape and put it where I want it to go. Looks like a little croissant. Ah. Okay, that's it for now. We'll be back more with more stitches another time.